Well, what's going on guys? Today marks the end of Char Month, but actually I want to ask a favor and an extension on Char Month because uh, nothing's done yet. So uh, as you guys know, we still got the Ultimate Char Clone. Voting is still going on. That's not quite done. We got a couple rounds left till the final round on that that I'm doing over on my community tab. Uh, also, my Char's DJ is not quite done yet, but here's a little a little look at that that's uh, coming along so i have probably one more work in progress just showing the uh the, the detail work the decals and stuff and then doing a little bit of weathering on that uh, before that's done but that should be done like later this week later in the week also the master grade Girardogo i said i was going to be painting in shara's colors that's all sanded and gonna ready to start being painted i'll probably i'll start painting that this week as well and the other secret thing that I was working on, I'll give you, it's, it's also not quite done yet, but I'll give you guys a little hint, a, a Charizard. Eh? Charizard, get it? That's pretty cool, right? So there's that and there's something else too, actually. So this is also almost done. I'll finish that and then show you. So probably everything that I'm working on Char related will probably be done in the next couple weeks. So Char Month will kind of continue on for me for a little bit, but I hope you guys all enjoyed it uh, just as something fun that we could all kind of join in and just share making some Shara stuff all together. Some of my friends there in, in here in the community uh, made some really cool stuff. I don't know if you guys saw some things that a bunch of guys, Eric's working on something really cool. Uh, Wind's piece was amazing with the Shar and, uh, uh, sorry, the Shar and Gundam themed Evangelion kits, uh, the Eva kits that he made. Uh, that was really cool, and also Moki's, uh, Moki's custom painted uh, Thunderbolt Zaku that he painted in Shara's colors, and and other people, other bunch of other people also made some cool Shara stuff. So thank you to everyone who joined in and just using the hashtag, and just kind of joining in, just something fun to do. I think probably going into the future, I'm gonna do some more of sort of like the month themes over the month. So like in July, I had a theme of I I took a look at some seed match grade kits, and then. That was just kind of a little thing, and then in, in August I wanted to do this whole uh, Shar Month thing. And going into the future, yeah, it's going to be something that you'll you'll probably see me doing more, uh, trying to focus like some of my videos for the month on a certain topic, and also have some sort of community involvement as well, something related to a particular theme, whether it be you know like uh, more kind of like brackets just for fun, like kind of polling kind of thing or like hashtag something like that, like that we're all sharing in for the month or something. So that'll be something that will go into the future as well. But one last thing to celebrate Char Month, I do want to let you guys know about the Char t-shirt, the return of the Char t-shirt. This is the same design that I had on my store for a very short time before it was quickly taken down. I know a lot of people were disappointed because a lot of people ordered it and I had to cancel their orders. Uh, and a lot of people wanted to order it, and, but they couldn't get their orders in, obviously. Anyway, it was taken down. So uh, this is the Char t-shirt that was designed by my good friend uh, Armando, who has done t-shirt designs that I featured on my store before. But now it's going to be sold uh, through Holy Mountain Printing, which is the printing company that does all the printing, t-shirt printing for True Gumpla. I'm sure a lot of you guys may be familiar with uh, his work and his t-shirts. So maybe a lot of you guys probably have his t-shirts. They're really cool. I have a few as well. Uh, so they've taken the design and uh, just changed it a little bit. They just basically changed like the coloring of it. But uh, so that's available there now on their site. So I'll put the link down below here to uh, True Gunpla's t-shirt store. Uh, he also has a couple other new t-shirts that he just put on there as well. There's one with uh, the Death Scythe, another one with a undead Gundam head there. They're really cool. So uh, you guys will probably be seeing me sporting one or two of those later on in the future. I'm going to, uh, he's going to hook me up with a couple of those. So that'll be awesome. Uh, so I'll have that to wear later on uh, to celebrate Shower Month. But yeah, so the Char t-shirt, the other two I'm not sure about, but the Char t-shirt at least is going to be limited to only being on there for a month. So if you want to order that, then order it uh, right away sometime this month. That'll be limited. And then hopefully we'll be able to do some more again in the future, maybe related to, again, some other themes that we do for like a certain theme for a certain month later on. So uh, that's pretty much it. Again, thank you to everyone who joined in in uh, the Char month and especially everyone who's been voting online uh, on my community tab. Uh, like I said, it's almost done. We're almost figuring out who's the ultimate Char clone. So uh, that's it for this. Guys, just wanted to kind of wrap up Char Month and let you guys know kind of what's going on, what's uh, to look forward to in the future. We got my review of the new Gundam coming up next. So stay tuned for that. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.